why we are trying to learn is because we know however we have been doing our activity till now, we could do it better. So the word insight itself means just this, that you see better. <laughs> because once you are placed in a position of leadership, you are expected to see better. Because leadership means in some way, either you climb onto your perch or somebody placed you there. We don't know how you got there. One way or the other, you got onto a higher perch. Once you're on a higher perch, you are expected to see better. If you sit on a higher perch and don't see any better than people around you, you will become an object of ridicule. Insight is not a concretized amount of knowledge. Insight is a certain level of perception that whatever happens, you are able to see something better than other people around you. Insight does not mean I have some knowledge about something which others do not have right now. They may not have it right now, tomorrow they may have it and they may have something better than you. But the important thing is to sharpen our faculties in such a way that we are always able to see better. We are all always able to see what is there. If all the other things around you become more, your money became more, your wealth became more, your power became more, even your knowledge became more, but you did not become more, then you will see a vacuum in your life which you will suffer immensely. So before other things rise, this one must rise in some way. A whole lot of people don't become better with wealth. A whole lot of people don't become better with power. A whole lot of people don't become, become better with knowledge. They become worse than what they were simply because they did not stay ahead of the other things which are growing around them. A whole lot of people <laughs> I have heard this again and again, they become better when they fail, unfortunate. I want you to become better with success, not better with failure. Anywhere you go, I hear in business schools around the world, what have you learned from your failure? I don't want you to learn anything from your failure. First thing is, I don't want you to fail. Oh, is there such a possibility? I say, why not? Why can't one move from success to success? Why does one believe only with failure, only when you're humbled or humiliated, you will learn? No, when everything is going great, you must learn. Yes or no? If this has to happen, whatever amount of attention and energy we're putting behind what's around us, we need to put similar amount of energies and attention to what is within us. I am seeing a whole lot of people are suffering their success much more than they suffer their failure. Successful people are carrying grave long faces. Those who have failed, once they come to terms with their failure, ah, they're taking a walk on the beach and they're quite happy. They think if they're joyful, they cannot do important things. They think if they're joyful, they cannot carry responsibilities. What is your experience? If you are doubtful about this, there is substantial medical and scientific evidence today that only when you are in pleasantness of experience, your body and your brain will work at its best. How successful you are in the world or in the activities that you perform in the world is essentially determined by how well you can harness your body and your brain right now. We want to look at possibilities where you will be capable of accessing an intelligence beyond your intellect. This is a living cosmos. Just look at anything, look at a leaf, a flower, an ant. Otherwise in the next few days, if you miss all this, maybe you will see an elephant. You pay attention to anything, 
everything smacks of extraordinary intelligence, isn't it so? Yes or no? If there was no intelligence in the air, if there was no intelligence in the soil, if there was no intelligence in the space, you think all this would happen? The question is only, do you have excess or no? So we would like to see that as you focus on the business issues, I also want you to focus on what's within so that this gets equipped to access an intelligence beyond intellect, an, intel an intelligence which will make life into your play, any challenge of life into your play. Right now you think on is stressful, off is relaxing, no. This is because people have misunderstood a few fundamentals. I want you to be very intensely on, at the same time relaxed. Intention and laxity, you will not know life. In intensity and relaxation, everything functions at its best. It's my wish and my blessing, these four days should be life-transforming for you, not just for your business. Thank you very much.